How's it going? Welcome to this week's episode of, I don't know what this is called, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna film something. I'm always on the search for a new lens, a new accessory. Most lenses these days are like, you know, in the thousands of dollars price range and you know, they're good, but you know, it's for the most average Joe consumer, anyone who's just doing this as like a hobby, they don't have the funds to just throw away like $1,500 on a lens. So, you know, I was searching online and I came across two companies that do these disposable camera lenses. They take them from like old disposables that I guess people have recycled or whatever and they 3D print the mount for whatever camera you're working with. Excuse me. And um, yeah. And this is the one made by a company called Dispo Lens. As you can see, it's like, you know, it's it's 3D printed. It's got the uh, the mounts for, I have the RF mount, because I have RF8, um, or ES R8. We have the pocket dispo lens. Um, when I bought the pocket dispo, I think it was about um, $52 or so. I'm pretty sure it was like 52 bucks. I checked on their website, it's like pretty much the same price right now. It might have been more, it might have been less, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, this one I got um, was $49.99 and I don't think I got charged tax on it, so that's that's pretty cool. But essentially what you do is you take off the lens that's on your camera. For instance, I'd be using the R8 and um, I think you have to sh set your um, your camera to allow the shutter to release without a lens technically being on there because it's technically not a lens. It's just essentially like a cap with like a tiny little hole in it, but on the end of it is, you know, disposable lens. So what I'm gonna do in this week's video is test them both out and see which one is better, plain and simple. I mean, they're probably both good, um, I've used them a little bit. I haven't really done too much with them. So I think it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun. I haven't decided, I might do like some video tests with it, but I'm not too sure, but they are cool. And um, yeah, I should probably write scripts for the stuff that I'm gonna talk about because sometimes I feel like I'm just rambling. So anyway, Pocket Dispo versus Dispo Lens. Let's get into it. Hey there. You gonna follow me all the way? Oh, hell yeah, dude. It's windy. Throwing out some trash before I start this video today. Um, yeah, so. I mean, I already started this video a couple days ago, but, you know. We're gonna film the rest of it after this. We're just gonna see which one's better. So I'm gonna shoot some video first, probably I'm out here down at uh, first location. Gonna shoot some uh, some video. I'll probably do some, is it fucking raining right now? It just started like sprinkling. So I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna shoot a couple things in video, probably like static shots on tripod, um, 10 seconds a piece, couple different shots. And then we'll move on from there. So I'm not gonna take this camera out there because it's not waterproof. So I'll be back in a few minutes.
So I've shot with it for a few minutes already, um, and I'm already kind of seeing which one has a more clear image. Not necessarily better, it's just more clear, if that makes any sense. Because like when you look at old disposable pictures, they're kind of like gritty, you know, a little blurry here and there. They both look cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm seeing one that looks like it exposes better, the lighting is better on it, it's, I don't know. I kind of got to overexpose it a little bit. I don't know if that's like, if I'm going to look at this footage later and it's going to look like crap, but I'm overexposing a little bit. Cause I mean, it's a tiny little hole. It's not like it's like a big giant opening. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to continue to shoot as long as the weather permits today. So that's where we're at. I'll check back in in a little bit. All right, continuing on with the video. <laughs> We're now joined with my lovely wife. Uh, and we're gonna go get some burritos. Oh God! <laughs> Everything's falling. A bad passenger princess. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had this in forever. Can we eat there? Um, if there's places to sit. Yeah. It's kind of nice Ooh, and warm. just beat the train. To sit outside. Yeah. And I think it would be good to be outside. It's also 92 degrees and very humid, so... Tomorrow's gonna be even hotter. Yeah, I'll be not leaving the house tomorrow. All right, so I've been filming with the uh, the pocket dispo and the dispo lens for a day now. Um, just testing them out, getting some uh, first impressions, you know, what I think about it, because that's why I made this video, because I saw these things, thought they were cool, thought I'd test them out. And what I've gathered so far is that it is a very cool idea, and I'm glad it is a thing because I feel like it's a, it's a little, you know, a niche little category that, you know, if you're, what is going on there? If you're, um, you feel a little stale with your photography, you feel like you want something fun, something pocketable, because actually when it's on my camera, I can fit it in my pocket, at least in these shorts, not my jeans, but anyway. It's just, it's a, it's a neat little extra thing to have. It's like a little, you know, a peek into yesteryear. Um, first takeaways, I noticed that one of the lenses gives it more of a dreamy look to it, and that is, I think, the first one I got was the Dispo lens. It makes it look like it's more of a point and shoot, like film camera from back in the day. You know, you shoot a bunch of pictures, you send it and get your film back. The other one looks similar, but it's more clear. Like, it, it, like it, the image just looks a little better. It's like the images are more clean. Um, yeah. So, which one do I like better? Honestly, I think they both are great in their own respective ways. Which one do I like better? I don't have a favorite. I do like how the, the pocket dispo has a notch on the top of it to indicate um, where you lock it on to the camera it's like right where it needs to be because the other one there's a spot but it's not exactly where it needs to be so you kind of got to find it a little bit you know that's that's a small gripe but it's not really that big of a deal um, it's just nice to know where it needs to go to get it on to get rocking so like you know essentially they're both great and if I had to choose one it'd probably be the dispo lens because it looks more nostalgic but I like them both so if I were to recommend anything it would be buy them both because they each give you something a little different it's like you know a pair of shoes you wear one pair of shoes to work 
wear one pair of shoes for fun. It's like they're, they're tools. You can use them any way you need to, depending on the circumstances of what you're doing. So honestly, get them both, dude. They're great. I think it's a cool idea. It's something very inexpensive. They're probably like 50 bucks a piece. So if you got some extra scratch and you're a photographer and you want some, some cool stuff, you know, I think that's all for this video. Honestly, I got some clips. I'll put them in, you know, you probably already saw them. Maybe some photos after the fact, after the credits roll. So yeah, that's all for today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do answer comments. I love answering comments. I like hearing from people what they think. If you like the video, if you don't like the video, whatever. We're here to, we're just having fun, you know? Stay safe, keep shooting, and I'll see you in the next video. test on the pocket dispo I don't know if this will work but it'll look cool if it does pocket dispo vlog test for the dispo lens how's that look huh I don't know I feel like this one's more clear but I don't know